All of this and more in live only on the K5 News. Hello guys, K5 Amusement Rides here. Well, uh, this year's a sad year for Western Playland because a death of a uh, classic ride has happened. Western Playland is removing their Hubitz paratrooper this year. Oh no. Anyway, great news. What you might ask. Well, let me tell you, because today I went on the internet and found this. As I was looking at Google Street View, it appears that Western Playland has removed their Hubitz paratrooper and upon further ins inspection of Street View, it turns out that they did and are and may actually be adding a Larson fireball or 22 meter giant loop that is around 73 feet I believe personally I would prefer the 22 meter giant loop as I've already been on Fraser shows uh, was ring of fire and then right Hoff shows fireball but you know due to the, due to the amount of space available where a paratrooper was located it will most likely be the regular trailer mounted fireball that's coming to Western Playland uh, I do have some screenshots which I will put on screen now. It does appear that the ride will be brand new and not used like their wipeout as I cannot find a fireball with this uh, this color scheme on Google Images. Uh, now if this is indeed the trailer mounted fireball, not counting the flags that are usually installed on top of the ride, the ride will be around 58 feet 9 inches tall and as I'm not aware of how many feet thick the ride structure is, I will estimate that uh, when you are sitting in the seats in the middle of a train, the riders should be around uh, 55 feet high when they are completely upside down. That is around 5 feet lower than when riding the uh, the arm Rockstar that they have installed there. As on Rockstar, you're around 60 feet high when the arm is completely upside down. Um, however, if this is the 22 meter giant loop, which I doubt it is, the ride would take drop zones place as the tallest ride in the park being around 73 feet tall. If you're wondering why I'm not considering the uh, possibility of Western Planet adding a Giga Loop, that is because Western Planet is a family park and uh, they would prefer adding something thrilling but still family friendly so as the uh, Giga Loop is around 101 feet tall that is certainly not a possibility in this scenario. Um, and by the way, at the time of this recording, the paratrooper is still on Western Playland's website. And as far as I know, no news of the new ride have been posted anywhere. And the Google Street View capture was back in December, so some parts of the ride uh, should be put together by now. As Western Playland's opening day is, for Season 22 is on March 5th. It was also noted that back in uh, 2020, before the shutdown, the owner was thinking about buying a new one million dollar ride but decided not to and it is still unknown if that particular ride was this ride or some type of coaster um, or maybe another flat ride but it does look like I mean it does look like the future of Western Playland will be bright in terms of more thrilling rides because we got Wipeout back in around July of 2018 we got Local 360 in 2019 which was also the first ride in the park to go upside down since the move from a Skyrith Park to uh, the current location and now we have a Larson Loop style ride coming this year. Yeah that's pretty much all the information I have now so I believe that was it and uh, I will see you soon.